Okay, so we've got uh, four through of this horrible calculation. Now, you could work out what this calculation is and then find the four through of that, but that seems to be a little bit harder. So, kind of, there's a nice little trick you can see here. So, if you spot that 27 is really 3 cubed, that's 3 cubed times by 3 here. So, 3 cubed times by 3 is 3 to the power 4, and let's leave 10 to the power 8 there. Well, the 4 through is really means that we divide the power by 4 here and the power by 4 here, which just leaves us with 3 there and 10 squared there. So that's 3 times 100, uh, yeah, 3 times 100, which is just 300. Second one. I've got several steps, you can do all sorts of things with this. So um, there's a power on top, a power at the bottom of the fraction, and there's a negative. Well, first thing is the negative means reciprocal. So a negative power means uh, find the reciprocal. So the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn that fraction upside down, uh, 216. And then I'm going to lose the negative, so I've flipped upside down, I've already found the reciprocal, and I'm just going to leave the power two-thirds. I only turn this fraction upside down, I don't turn the power upside down. So, uh, in a fractional power, I know that the denominator, the denominator, I can't even write the moment, sorry, the denominator tells us the root that we're going to take. So this is the third root, or the cube root, so what we're going to do here is cube root of 1,000 is 10, cube root of uh, 216 is 6, and then we've got that squared. So we've got 10 over 6 all squared. Well, we could square them and then um, simplify, but I'm going to simplify first. So 10 over 6 is really uh, 5 over 3. And then it's all squared. And then what I'm going to do is square the top, square the bottom, 25 over 9. So our answer is 25 over 9. So you have to take it step by step, do one bit of each bit of the power in turn. Now it doesn't matter which order you do it in, but I just chose to do it first. You can do it in another order. You should, if you do correct calculations, you will eventually get to the same answer. But I chose to do find the reciprocal first, so I thought it was easier. And then with bigger numbers, I tend to find tend to find that finding the, the, the root first it is more helpful, makes the number smaller before you then square them. 